Spence is done. So you're done with Spence for right now. Okay. So Spence is not. So you don't think Spence will be this year? Maybe no, next year? No. Ne never. Really? Why well, you say never? What about 154, Terrence? Never gonna happen. What about 154? So you gonna go to 154 soon? Or? I don't know. We're looking back. <laughs> What's good, everybody? Box the first vlog back in the building. Hit you with another one, two. You see the topic, Mr. Terrence Bud Crawford. You know, Mr. Pound for Pound, he's in the news, he's making waves. Uh, but first, before we get into it, I want to give a big shout out, double salute to the team, doing excellent work over there on G5 Jeff TV channel. I appreciate you guys going to support him, giving a look to our second interview with Toriano Johnson. I wasn't able to tap in, did jump in the chat room though, and, and throw a shout out to my guy, ask a couple good questions. But uh, big ups to my team, man. They doing great work over there. But anyway, man, let's get into it, man. You heard Mr. Bud Crawford saying the Spence fight is off. The really part of what I wanted to get into, the, the major part of this video I wanted to get into before we even tap into the Spence part, is uh, he has some words to say about Canelo's resume. Is he correct in saying that Mr. Canelo has avoided the American black fighter? Not to a full extent. And from my perspective, obviously, we know he has some names on his resume, Jacobs, Trout, Mosley, and the big one of all the GOAT, Mr. Mayweather. So he, he does dabble on that side of the fence when it comes to opponents, but it isn't um, a lasting resume, so to speak, after, when, when you speak in a 50-some-odd fight. So he has a point, but I don't think it's a a big deal. It's just what they do in the sport, man. You kind of market your guy as best that you can. You kind of place them in the, the best situations and styles make fights. And a lot of times you don't want to put your guy in there with a style that clashes against his and, and gives the other opponent an opportunity to win. So I kind of put it, it's almost in that situation where he's making a point and it's a valid point, but it's not a major, major point to me when you're talking resume because Canelo does have a a, a a decent resume, honestly. I'm, I, I don't know if it's Hall of Fame uh, worthy, per se. Accomplishments, yes. You know what I mean? When you jump up two weight classes and take somebody's strap, things like that, those are the type of things that get you in that Hall of Fame talk. But uh, let's get into the dispense part of it anyway. That's just my one-two on his his thoughts on that um on, on the Canelo resume and him avoiding the American black fighters. But on the Spence fight, I, I, I think it's, it's good that they, they, they're killing it and it's time to move on. You heard whispers of 154, possibility of going up and grabbing another WBO belt. That would make for exciting things and could a possible another PBC fighter be on deck in one of the Charlos? I don't know. You tell me what you think in the comments section. As always, thank you for all the support, hitting that like, subscribe, and comment. Hit that notification bell while you're at it. 